Watching your feel good breakfast show, Express, on this 12th day of January. Well, all the way from Australia, he visited Stellenbosch to give us a course in aquaponics. I'm talking about Murray Hallam, this growing popularity of uh, the very efficient way of producing food. We wanted to know more and attended one of his classes. Aquaponic farming is a system where waste produced by farmed fish supplies the nutrients for plants grown hydroponically, which in turn purify the water. In South Africa here right now, you've got massive shortages of water. Uh, you're in the middle of a drought, so aquaponics is very water wise. We only use 10% of the water. And of course, we can do aquaponics in a confined space. So it's great for doing in you know, low socioeconomic areas, for example, that might not have much space. They can have a small aquaponics farm in their backyard and they can grow lots of veggies for their own use very easily. We use fish to actually provide the majority of the nutrient for the vegetables. There's two benefits from that. Uh, firstly, we'll get a fish dinner about nine or ten months down the track. And secondly, nutrients are trapped in the system. So plants grow much quicker in an aquaponic system than they do in a regular dirt garden. So probably the most efficient system that's yet been devised for growing plants and fish. As aquaponics is only just gaining traction here, courses and interaction with experts like Murray give local budding farmers insight and information to kickstart their own aquaponics projects. Well, I think it's important to understand it properly yourself. When you apply the skills of aquaponics, it's good to start a home system, something really small that you can then benefit from yourself. Then you can expand it, build it modularly, and grow into a farm and something sustainable for a community or an area. Being an active fisherman in Kokba, you slowly realise or quickly realise that with a growing fishing community and the declining wild resource, there has to be some sort of alternatives. And aquaculture, aquaponics specifically, is a brilliant alternative and option for the fishing community that I'm from. It's actually because of the drought in my country. I'm from Namibia. Um, so I thought that would be, this would be a good ideal a platform to teach my people back home as to why they should do aquaponics. Then at the end of the day, you'll have food on your table. You don't need a lot of water. You recycle your water, so you won't have a problem. I am an engineer by trade, and yes, it's a lot of work. You've got to, you've got to do the plumbing, you've got to do the propagation, you've got to look after the fish, but it's extremely fulfilling. And at the end of the day, if I can make money, it's mixing the two. It's mixing economics with passion. The key to the visibility of aquaponics in South Africa is that it is sustainable and more importantly can provide high value crops as well as protein source for food in one system. Aquaponics is really very sustainable because we make double use of everything. We use the water for the fish to live in obviously and then we use the water to grow plants. The same with the fish food we put into the system. Primarily it feeds the fish but then the fish waste it provides the nutrient for our plants. So in a country like South Africa where you have you know, a lot of very dry, arid regions, this is without a doubt the most sustainable and long-term kind of uh, system we can use to grow plants and grow fish as well. In light of South Africa's water crisis and the need to provide food for millions of disadvantaged individuals, aquaponics might be the solution for improving our economy and the welfare of our people.